What's in a name? Well, plenty according to the struggling steelmaker One Steel. The company says its name has been an impediment in recent years and given investors the wrong impression about its business. It's planning a name change later this year, but analysts argue there are far bigger threats still facing the company. Neil Woolridge reports. BHP started making steel in Australia in 1915, but now, in a sign of the industry's troubled times, one of the firms spun out of the big Australian a decade ago is looking to drop steel from its name. The name One Steel has in fact been an impediment in recent years in the marketing of the company to the investment market. Jeff Plummer says the name no longer reflects the business One Steel has become since the company started exporting iron ore in 2005, so it's planning to become Arium. We have found that many investors, particularly overseas investors, have had perceptions that we were solely a steel company due to our name suggesting this. Through our resource-focused growth strategy, we have moved from being solely a domestic steel company to now being a mining and materials company with three businesses, mining, mining consumables and steel and recycling. Shareholders will vote on the proposal in May, but it may take a lot more than a name change to convince investors that One Steel has turned the corner. Since 2010, One Steel shares have badly underperformed the wider market, even after a brief rally in the past few months. We already had a hard time competing with Japanese steel and when Korean steel emerged it actually made the situation increasingly more difficult. And after a while, I mean with China and the low labour costs over there, it was always going to be a fairly tough. And in February, the company reported a $74 million first half loss, blaming its steel division's woes on the strong dollar, weak demand and high raw material costs. We've made very good progress through primarily cost reduction programs to improve the performance of that business. Um, the results are still not acceptable, so we've got much work to do, but it's certainly a significant turnaround from the previous year or two results. One Steel plans to increase iron ore sales to 11 million tonnes next year and build up its mining consumables business, which supplies parts like grinding rods and rail wheels to other miners. When we compare them against the major miners uh, in iron ore, I think they, they, they are quite far behind. I think they don't have the scale. Uh, mining consumables, I think it looks a lot more attractive. And as long as this commodities boom uh, continues, I think you know that, that's that area where one still can excel. The company says another headwind it's facing is the carbon tax. While One Steel supports the compensation given to steelmakers, it says the proposed price of $23 a tonne is at odds with the rest of the world. However, with the carbon tax starting on the 1st of July, the government and the Greens show no sign of budging.